Welcome to the SCCS training video. My name is Munir Hassan and I'm one of the technical managers here at SCCS. The aim of this video is to assist you with some of the technical challenges that you may face using some of the new Leica Viva GNSS equipment. The following section of the video aims to go through various troubleshooting issues. Um, we'll start with internet speed and lack of internet. We'll then be moving on to inability to connect to the NTRIP server. And then followed by connecting to the server but not receiving corrections and finally looking at some of your Bluetooth pairing issues. Troubleshooting internet connections. The first sign that you're having internet issues is this symbol at the top. There's a picture of a mobile phone with a warning triangle in front. If this appears, uh, if you go to instrument, connections and internet wizard we can start off by editing the current settings. So for most of your Viva equipment you're going to be using the 3.5G modem, so make sure that's selected. Pin codes and PUT codes, that's your own personal security um, options, so we'll leave that in your hands but we won't do that today. And then select your, your internet connection type, we're going to be using GPRS. Then what you'll have to do is you'll have to input an APN. Now this should have been given to you by your mobile phone provider or you can call us here at SCCS and we can assist you with this information. Along with an APN you'll also need a user ID and password. So once again if you don't have this by all means feel free to get in touch. Once you fill them in you can decide whether or not you want certain marker posts to come up as you go through the process. Um, for today we don't need that so we'll just press next. And at this point, you should then get a, a confirmation that your internet connection was successful. Uh, we're using simulators today, so we, we, we don't have that luxury, but um, that's be, that would be what you'd expect. Um, and you can press finish, and hopefully your warning triangle disappears and you're now connected to the internet. Inability to connect to the NTRIP server. If your internet connection is OK, but you're still not receiving corrections, then we need to look at the server. We can do that by going to Instrument, Connections, All Other Connections, highlighting RTK Rover, and then pressing F4 Control. This will bring up the Internet Port Connections page. If we click on SmartNet Main, highlight it and press Edit, then we can actually look at the server details there. These should be exactly the same on your instrument. If you're happy with that, and we can now look at the license details. By clicking across to the Entrip tab, this will give you your user ID, so you can now just verify that you have the correct license details input, and whether or not the license is still valid, you can check that with us here at SCCS. And if you're happy with the license, then we can then press Store. And we can OK this. And the next thing to check is that the mount point and the reference network are the same. The most common mount point that we use is max-rtcm version 3. Um, if that's not set in there, then you can, two ways, you can either type that in, or if you press source, and you have an internet connection, then the source table will come up and you can select the correct option. Okay, we now need to look at where the, the reference network is, is correct as well. So we're highlighting RTK Rover, this time we press edit. We go across an RTK network tab, and you'll see it's set to max, same as the mount point. If it's not, then you can select the tab and the option that you require. If you're happy with this, then you can press OK. Or another thing that's worth checking, if you're still not receiving corrections, um, we can go to this GGA, and what we need to do is refresh our GGA. We do this by selecting it away from automatic and pressing OK, and going back into GGA and reselecting it as automatic, and this will refresh it. And we press OK, and once we've, we've gone through those, we've now looked at the server, we've refreshed the GGA, we've checked the mount point, we've checked the reference network. Once all of those are correct, then you should be now be receiving corrections. Bluetooth antenna pairing issues. If you lose Bluetooth connection between your controller and your antenna, the first thing you'll see is a warning sign come up on the top toolbar above the Bluetooth symbol next to the antenna. 
You also notice that your satellites will have dropped out. How do we fix this? We start off by going to Instrument Settings, Connections, and the GS Connection Wizard. We select the correct sensor, press Next, and make sure it's set to Bluetooth, Next again. And at this point, if your antenna isn't already listed, then you'll press Search, search for the correct antenna, highlight it, and then press Next. This may take a moment while it's connecting. Um, if you get any authentication requests, then please type in four zeros. Um, what you also may find is at the end of the pairing that you may have to restart the system just to get the, the pairing to work properly. Once this is paired, you'll get an information sign coming up telling you that you're now successfully connected. And you can press finish. Thank you for watching our support video. We hope this has been of benefit to you. If you require any further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us here at SCCS.